we are dealing now with operational amplifier circuits where we are considering the limitations and the non-idealities of the operational amplifier. In this example, we are going to see how you can have an output saturating due to the limited output current that you have in an open circuit. So, let's go over it. A certain operator, operational amplifier is used in a non-inverting amplifier having a feedback resistor of 3 kilo ohms and a gain of 4. Okay, let's start uh, drawing what we are talking about. So first of all, we have a non-inverting amplifier. Should be familiar with these circuit topologies. In the non-inverting amplifier, the input, the VI, goes to the non-inverting input. And we have still negative feedback by having a pathway from the output back to the negative input. It's our RF, it's our RI. And if you recall, that the gain or our output is going to be 1 plus RF over RI times the input, or the gain equals 1 plus RF over RI times the input. Now, it says here that this amplifier has a gain of 4 and that the RF is equal to 3 kilo ohms. Right? So we have 1 plus 3K over what do we need to get in order to get the RI to be well, if we have a 1 kilo ohms, we get the 4. Okay, so that's how we figure this Ri. And this is connected to a load resistor. Okay, so Rl and the load resistor, we have two situations where it is 10k to see what happens, and when it is very low, 100 ohms, okay, we have an input signal we are giving that our input is one kilohertz, Uh, about the source of 2.5 volts, 2.5 volts. Oh, actually, let's do this, 5 volts. Otherwise, the problem is not nearly as interesting. So, problem is 5 cosine Two thousand pi t. So that's our input. The saturation voltage for this amp, once it is power, let's say power with a plus minus fifteen, the saturation voltage is plus minus twelve volts, and the maximum output current, the maximum current, is twenty five milliamps. In this case, we are looking at the type of saturation that you can have due to the fact that the voltage exceeds the saturation voltage, and that's easy to understand. But there's another one clipping that happens due to the output current, and this is very interesting. So when you have an input signal and we amplify it, It's quite simple to understand that if you amplify it to match more than 12 volts, and this is 12 volts, eclipse, right? 
Thus, the output swing is going to be limited by the power supplies and the saturation voltage, which is going to be around one volt less than the power supplies. Very straightforward. But sometimes you may encounter this phenomenon when you power the operation amplifier plus minus 15 volts and the thing starts clipping maybe at 4 volts. What is that due to? Yeah. It is due to the maximum output current that you can have. And in this activity, that's going to be very clear why that can happen. And that's going to happen for low values of RL. So let's do the first part. Uh, in A, when RL is high, 10 kilo ohms, likely the saturation in this case is going to be due to the voltage amplification that we have. Uh, and then in B, when RL is very low, probably you're going to have a, current, a situation where you're clipping much lower the saturation voltage due to the limited finite output current. So for RL equals to this, the ideal voltage, B output, ideal, will be A times Vs, which is equal to 4 times 5. This is the reason why I changed this. This will have been 20 volts. Right? But of course, it's going to clip at 12. That is the maximum. And uh, we're going to see if at this load, RL, for RL equals 10K, it could clip at a lower voltage than the saturation voltage. And to do that, so in this case, we have B output maximum is going to be 12 volts, and this is due to saturation. B sat. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Let's look at this output current, I output. And what is this equal to? This is the current, I output. And it's going to branch off here. So you have that current there. And we are able to calculate it, right? That one is the V output over RL plus we have the current here, right, going through here. Now, since here it will branch off again, but we are assuming that the current inputting, the inverting input of the, of the operation amplifier, as well as the non-inverting in this case, is zero, right? So all this current is going through this branch, in which case, what is the current here? V output minus zero, ground is here, over RF plus RI. Yes, and so we have 12 volts, over 10k, the load, condition 1, plus 12 volts divided by 4k, the addition of the RF and RI, which is equal to 4.2 milliamps, since the output current, 4.2 milliamps, is less than 25 milliamps, we do not have any saturation due to the output current limit. So, in this case, what is our solution? This is going to clip due to the rails, the saturation voltage. Again, is slightly less than what you power the operational amplifier with. So, if this is this problem is probably plus minus 13, for instance. Let's do part B. In part B, we have a load resistance of 100 ohms. And anytime you have something of this size, eh, you need to check whether you have an output current limit issue. So 
let's go ahead and um, pay out the current. It's the same expression that we had before. B output over RL. So this current here plus the current in the feedback. B output output RI plus RF. The output. I'm going to look at the maximum output voltage that you could have. 12 volts divided by 100 ohms plus 12 volts divided by 4K. And this is 123 milliamps, which is greater than 25 milliamps. Okay, so it's going to saturate, right? Uh, but we need to know at which voltage is going to saturate. It's going to be less than 12. How do we figure that out? Well, we can figure that out by, um, so at the onset of clipping, what do we have at the opposite of clipping? What is the output current? Well, the output current is 25 milliamps, right? At the onset, that's the maximum that we can provide. And if we say, well, output voltage, 100 plus output voltage, 4K, we can solve for the voltage, and we get 2.44 volts in this case. And so what we get in this circuit is that the circuit, oh, you will see an output that is something like this, clips. It's almost like a square. At 2.44 volts, minus 2.44 volts, when you were expecting that this will continue to do the amplification. So if you see this phenomenon in the lab, or if you're in the lab, yes, check it out. Connect a potentiometer at the load, put it at the load um, or, or a resistor, 100 ohms or something like that, and you can see this effect, which is due to the fact that the operational amplifiers all have a maximum output current that they can provide. Now, you can increase that, for instance, by putting a transistor at the output using a power amplifier um, and things like that. Thank you.